how empathy and the mass collective works, okay? So what I'm seeing a lot of is people really having their heads up everybody else's ass. And when you do that, you then start to empathically feel all of the pieces that other people are feeling. And what happens is when we go through a collective shift, we do this with the collective consciousness. We do this with other people. We do this with the planet, okay? And if you are an empath and you don't have really good energetic boundaries, you're gonna start feeling things as if they were your own. It's gonna be like sadness, depression, anger, irritation, crying out of nowhere, especially if you're not hormonal, <laughs> just like weird out of everywhere. And we discussed this concept inside our last sovereign circle of how we have porous boundaries and take responsibility for the mass collective wanting or desiring to move into an energy of enlightenment, of consciousness, of being awake. And when we do that, and we take that responsibility, there is what we call karmic backlash or empathic backlash. When you then start to feel all of the feelings that the masses are feeling, such as abandonment, disconnection, separation, rejection, um, lack, disempowerment, right? So it's like you, you lock in to that collective and then you start feeling everything that they're feeling. And what happens is, if you're not super aware of your own energy, it's very difficult to discern between what feelings are yours and what feelings belong to the mass collective. Because if you're holding even just a little iota of feeling isolated or alone or abandoned or separated or a victim or in lack, when you start empathing the masses, those thoughts kind of sort of sound like your own. So you become a match to them and then they heighten and then they become overwhelming. And then there's other things that start to come through. And that's how you then start empathing it. And the reason for that is not just because you're an empath. The reason around that is what we call this concept of energetic responsibility. When you want someone to be energetically responsible for their soul's path, their journey, their energy, their consciousness, their awareness, their wokeness, if you will, that is where you start to get entangled. And recently, it's August 23rd now, but recently um, we just moved out of the Lion's Gate portal on the 8th. And the Lion's Gate portal was a mass collective portal opening and energetic downloads for the entire planet, for the collective. So whenever we have like a group energy like that, it's very, very easy to get caught in the idea of boundaries and where you're connected to the masses because that on the eve we were all receiving the same thing at the same time so we were kind of part of the collective of humanity on earth receiving the same thing and when we do when we bring in energies like that um, and wanting to receive the downloads people who don't have really good energetic boundaries which is probably 70 to 80% of the planet start to get entangled into the masses. And then you start to become, I don't want to say confused, but you lack clarity, misdirection, and the whole nine yards that the masses are experiencing. So today, what I decided that we would do is disconnect from the mass collective. And we're gonna run a really quick process to help you realign your energy really fast to give you not only an idea of how the energy works, how I work, how the sovereign sessions work, um, but to also help you recognize where you think, you know, you 
maybe are not empathing the collective. Like I get a lot of people who say, well, that doesn't resonate with me, Elizabeth. And I'm like, dude, you have your head so far up the mass collective that everything that you're experiencing isn't even yours. And so, you know, I say a little nicer than that, maybe just a little bit, but not much. But then when we do the process and they feel the shift, the recognition of, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was doing this, is so poignant that it just brings awareness, right? And so that's what we want to do today is just bring a little bit of awareness of where is your energy up the ass of the mass collective and you don't even know it, right? Um, and where are you taking responsibility for the collective and receiving empathic or karmic backlash for it? And so this process is just a moment of awareness of, am I in it? Am I entangled? And if I am, let's get clear. <laughs> Whew, lots of energy moving here. So take a moment to just find, you know, a comfy, cozy place to where you can just sit for about, I don't know, five or 10 more minutes by yourself. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, Pull all of your energy and awareness into your heart center. We call it the divine line, that tube of light that flows right on the front of your spine in front of all your chakras. <laughs> and take another deep breath in and glue that divine line onto the front of your spine and get super grounded for this. So you never experienced this energy before. It's a very woozy, spinny kind of feeling. So make sure you're super grounded. Now, understand, I am not going to be running this energy. I am going to now co connect with you at the level of your higher self, your teams, and your guides. And I'm going to just invite you to move the energy or not. It's entirely up to you. And I'm going to run the energy on me. I'm going to send you the energetic information so you can do it yourself or not. But any shifts that you are going to experience from this point on is not me. It is you. Okay, that is how we shift energy without having to get entangled in your energy and therefore you don't receive my empathic backlash, right? So a lot of you are like, well, how are you going to shift our energy <laughs> if you're not going to shift our energy? Well, close your eyes and find out because here we go. I'm going to invite you at the level of your higher self, your body's higher self and your team's to engage and locate everywhere that you are connected into the mass collective consciousness and are empathically feeling all of their emotions, all of their lessons, all of their tasks, all of their karma. And lift your energy up and out of all systems, levels, components, and all aspects of the mass collective of that consciousness there you go Whew. and bring it back to the level of your higher self your body's higher self in your teams to the degree that you so choose to clean it clear it heal it repair it recalibrate it to your own soul's energy and engage and locate all of the responsibilities that you've even given or taken from the mass collective to help them move into a more enlightened way of being. Everywhere you're having that desire, everywhere you have those attachments where you've, you're taken responsibility for helping them move into a more awakened state, engage and locate that. Yeah. And lift that up and off all systems, levels, components, and all aspects of your body, your being, I'm sorry, aspects of the mass collective consciousness. Return and retrieve all of those pieces back to the level of your higher self. Return, retrieve all of that responsibility. There you go. Release the attachment. There you go. And bring that attachment, that personal responsibility for wanting people to awaken and move into a, you know, a more enlightened way of being and all of 
your own energy that was stuck in the mass collective and empathing it over there back to your level of your higher self, your body, your teams. They're going to clean, clear, clear, repair, and recalibrate that as well. And bring it back into your own energy field on your own divine line in a whole and healed state and into this current breath of now and beyond. Moving into a greater personal responsibility for your own awakening, for your own awareness, for your own connection, your own power, your own abundance, your own love. There you go. Activating all spiritual lessons, updating and repatterning all your identity grids, your personality grids, all ways in which you perceive and are perceived in the world. And just let that energy shift. You don't have to do anything with it. Just breathe. And just take another deep breath in. And invite your higher self, source, God, creator, whatever you want, your choice, we don't care, to engage and locate the more enlightened consciousness that's on the planet that is all about taking personal responsibility for your own energy, no one else's. We're not being arrogant. We don't think we're this shit. We're not going to change you, heal you, do anything for you because this is your journey. That collective consciousness, oh, here we go, and plug yourself into that one. That is the one that says your internal world creates your outer reality. Embody the frequencies that you want to experience. Take personal responsibility for that. Don't give that responsibility to others and you will see it emerge. That is the collective that we want to plug into. So I'm going to invite you to the degree that you so choose to plug in there. There we go. Whew. And you may feel like a download come through as you plug in because that's another clearing because anywhere that you're not doing that, you're shifting your energy into that alignment as well. And we're going to activate, update, repattern that as well. Same for your body, same for your team. Deep breath in. Now, if you felt any energy shift in this process, you're taking responsibility, energetic responsibility, or you're attached to people in the mass collective to spiritually awaken, be evolved, be abundant, think positively, move into their connection, alignment, whatever that is. That is an indicator that your energy was out of alignment and you just made that shift. Okay, And even the most advanced healers that have come to me, that have worked with me in the past, this is a huge one because everybody connects into the mass collective because this is not an idea or a concept that is widely talked about. We talk a lot about, oh, I'm empathing the mass collective. I can feel what's happening in the universe. That's because you have your energetic hands all over other people where they don't belong. So when you're creating sovereignty from within, this is part of that process, being completely and totally sovereign by taking personal responsibility for your own energy, for the vibrations that you want to create and embody, and allow other people to be where they are, to use those vibrations to spiritually evolve and grow. And when you take responsibility for them, you stop or hinder, slow their process because they cannot work it out because you have your hands all over them. So take a moment to kind of feel into that energy. That is the vibration and the frequency of our sovereign circle membership and where we are going and really, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Really embodying these concepts of, of sovereignty and what that really means, right? It is an energetic stance in which 
you are completely and totally empowered and you see other people in the mass collective as being completely and totally empowered and that they may be hooking into this energy and this consciousness for a reason. And that reason is to help them spiritually evolve and grow by using the opposite of what they want to experience as a means to identify what it is that they really want. And the thing about that is a lot of people stay in the mass collective and feel like there is no way out because they don't have the tools, they don't have the processes, or they aren't moving into that energy where they can take responsibility, understand what that means, and then make the shifts for themselves. So that is today's process. Work with that. Tell us how it went for you. Let us know if you could feel this shift. And then consider joining us in our Sovereign Circle membership where we do all of this type of work to create more sovereignty within yourselves, become less empathic to other people's garbage, to grow and evolve at an accelerated rate, and to be the sovereign being in the world that you want that's connected to the enlightened consciousness grid, not the masses. And so it is.